I also participate in this debate and I want to thank the Honourable Member for Air Carrick and Covenant for bringing this forward and I also wish to applaud the work of Versus Arthritis on behalf of those living with this condition. We know that around 10 million people in the UK live with arthritis and other muscu muscular skeletal conditions and that only 60% of working age people with persistent um, mus muscular skeletal conditions are in work. We also know that those people account for a fifth of all working days lost through ill health in the UK. And we know that around 30.6 million working days are lost um, due to absence because of this condition and similar conditions. And the latest figures I have seen from 2013. And um, we, in addition, know that 44,000 people live with rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis in Scotland, often suffering considerable pain with this condition. However, if we are to have the, the disability employment gap, it's important that the flow of disabled people leaving employment because of discrimination or a lack of support is stemmed. People with arthritis want to work, and the majority of them can. And that's why I echo calls for a greater promotion of the Access to Work scheme to both employers and to employees who could potentially benefit from that scheme. So the task before us is to support into work or support sustaining employment for those living with this, these conditions. And I urge um, the Minister to ensure that the DWP system is fully cognizant of the fact that some people with these conditions are simply not able to work. And that is our task, and I hope these goals are fully echoed and endorsed by the Minister today. We know that the challenges posed by this, these, these conditions are significant, since those, with, um, those living with them are less likely to be employed than those in good health, and they're more likely to retire early. And this has implications for those um, and the wider economy. Um, combined and direct and indirect, combined and direct and indirect costs of osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis in the UK to the UK economy is estimated to be about 21.8 billion pounds. Sorry, 21.6 billion pounds. In addition, there's a loss to those affected by this condition when they have to um, find that they have to give up their work. And as we've heard, I echo the comments that those living with this conditions these conditions don't just lose out financially, they lose a sense of well-being, their sense of personal fulfilment and their social contact. Um, so as well as um, promoting more widely and robustly the access to work scheme um, to those who can benefit from and to employers, I urge the Minister today to also consider the response of the DWP and the expertise that is required for, for people presenting with this condition and the kind of and the level of support they need. And I'm looking forward to the Minister's reassurances on that.